It is time, everybody. Hope you're ready. It's been four days, so let's see what's happened. What's changed? To Thank you, PW Dubs, for the cheer. Cat's not watching. She's at work. She's at work. She's not watching the stream. <clears throat> All right, so here we are. Now, you may have noticed there was no intro. The reason there was no intro is because Cat played on my account today. She told me about a few things that were going on, including the New Islanders. So, oh, we got a problem here. My placement of the Flamingo apparently does not allow me to check my mailbox. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> so I guess that flamingo is not going to fly there. Which sucks, I really like it. Maybe I can put it, like, back here. So we got Happy Home Academy, who comes on Sundays. Congratulations. Oh, that's right, because I got the new addition to my home, the new room. They gave me a, a reward. I wonder what that is. Nook Inc. Complete the expansion of your home. During the construction, we have to place one or more wall hang items in your storage. Probably what was right above where the doorway is going to be. That's my guess. Chop says, Bon voyage. That's French for congrats on your home renovation. No, it's not. <laughs> now that you've got a little more space or something to f fill it with, invite me over soon. All right, so I got a few items here from uh, various people, right? So... Where can I put that? Maybe I'll just put the flamingo over here in the corner over here. I guess that's fine. There's something to see if we can rotate it. There we go. That looks good. And now we won't blow my mailbox, right? That actually doesn't look too bad. All right, Elon Just, thank you for a dollar thirty tip because you missed me yesterday. Yeah, I, you know, admittedly I missed being on stream. Um, it would have been one thing if yesterday was the day when I was spending time with my wife, which I mean I was, but I was in excruciating pain and couldn't do anything. So it wasn't like I was having fun. It was a horrible day for me. So it was one thing if I had an extra day off, but it's not really how it worked out. Dude, there's a pizza in there. That's so awesome. Look, the pizza. I'm going to leave that open so we can see the pizza as we walk by. All right, so what are these new items that I received? A present is a coffee grinder, okay, and a microwave. I think they want me to set up a kitchen. It sure sounds to me like they want me to set up a kitchen, doesn't it? Darkside Chris, what's going on, man? Good to see you. Uh, yes, I did hear that a DLC for Dragon Ball Z Kakarot is out. However, I basically heard that it's not the true Dragon Ball Super DLC that was supposed to be coming out. What it is is some kind of a new DLC that's supposed to explain um, how Vegeta went Super Saiyan God for the first time. Which I guess in the anime is never explained. Um, which is great and all, but apparently it's not canon. What people are saying is that wasn't canon to what happened on TV and they kind of made it up just for the game. So, it kind of turned me off. I was like, oh, I thought it was the canon story of Dragon Ball Super. That's what I wanted to do. So, it looks, seems to me like I'm probably not going to be doing it. Um, maybe I'll wait until there's actually a better DLC where it's going to cover the real Dragon Ball Super plotline. So. Okay. So, people say the game volume is too loud. Is that true? I can lower it a little bit. Hey, I lowered it a little bit. Sorry. So, let's take a look at what's probably going to be my kitchen. All right. Yeah, what I should probably do is see, I, you know, with my, my inventory here. Oops, that's not my inventory. What on earth do I have? I have a diner mini table, an antique chair. Uh, I don't really have many. Oh, my God, I have a quarter of a ring, a wrestling ring. But I don't really have too many accessories that I could put in here that scream kitchen. You know, maybe the diner mini table. Um... Party wall tile, white, simple cloth wall. Pine board flooring. Arched brick flooring. Yellow checked rug. A palace tile. Can we put these down? Let's take a look here. What does this look like? These uh, floorings. Whoa! That's kind of nice. In reality, that does kind of look like a kitchen flooring. I think I like that. Better than just the generic wood, right? What about this? No, not the bell bag rug. Where's the, uh, here we go. 
White simple cloth wall. Oh, that's what's on the wall. That's already what was on the wall. Well, that's kind of lame. Uh, I don't really have much else, right? I have, yeah, no, aqua tile. This could be like a bathroom. That wouldn't be for like a kitchen. You know what? Just for the hell of it, we'll try it. <clears throat> but I don't think it's going to be very good. The only rug I have is a yellow checked rug. Oh, I really want to put like a wall clock in here. Not this egg. That. Oh my god, that's not. I want it centered. It goes up at an angle. Oh, come on. What, how do I get it to be perfectly straight? I guess that's perfectly straight. Yeah, it kind of is. It's so high up, you can't see it, though. He put it so goddamn high up, you can't see the clock at all. Well, I guess I guess it's fine. I don't know. <laughs> that shit's so high. Um. All right. So what else did I have that I was gonna put down here? Yellow checked rug. You know what? I don't think I want to put down a rug. I just want to see how this looks. Yeah. See, that does not look like a kitchen, does it? I mean, I guess it could be. To me, that looks more like a bathroom. I think it's better than just white. I don't think I want just white, so maybe I'll, just, I'll leave it. Just for the hell of it. Oh, really? Mega Man says when you press down on the D-pad, you can move it without constantly... How, though? Oh, look at this. <clears throat> oh! Oh, that's cool. All right, that's, a good, that's pretty much the height I wanted. Thank you very much for that tip. Because now I can actually see my wall clock. I like that. That's cool. Alright. Oh, let's see here. Alright. By the way, I wonder how much extra storage I got now. Because now I have, uh... Now I have... I guess, you know, because extra room. Does that mean you double your storage maybe or something? A retro radiator. I'll put that in the corner. Let's see what that looks like. A retro radiator, yeah. To heat the room. Look at that. You can't actually use it, though. I kind of want it on the back wall, though. Like here. Where'd it go? There we go. That looks kind of cool. To warm the room, right? I kind of like that. Um, I wish I, if I had a table, I could put a chair, and then also I have the microwave, but I don't really have any good tables, I don't think. Let me double check my storage. I don't think any of, yeah, I don't have any good tables. I need to, to build some tables to put in here. Yeah, I was right. It says 121 of 240, so I've doubled my storage, which is absolutely excellent. I definitely wanted to do that. Um, so I move that to my pocket. I'm going to see if I can craft any chairs. And I'm going to see if I can craft any uh, tables to put in here. Because I have a microwave I'd like to put down. But I have nowhere to put it right now. Right? So... Proficient Fox Cheery says, make sure you don't spoil the ending yet for Final Fantasy VII Remake because a few people have got hit with strikes on YouTube. So it's so weird because this has been reported, yet the ending's all over YouTube anyway. Like, people are like, yeah, I got hit with the copyright strikes. Like, yeah, then why do 10,000 other people have the ending up already? So it seems to be, like, incredibly inconsistent. I don't know how, why or how it's happening. But I'm nowhere near the end of the game. I'm in Chapter 14. And the game has uh, 18 chapters. So I still got a ways to go. I, I predict a couple more weeks at least. So I wouldn't really worry too much about it. <clears throat> okay. Oh, you're right. Thank you very much, Nose Vacuum. To take off the vest. You're right. I got to take off the vest because as of now, we have not hit the tip's goal for tonight. We just started. 
and I should not be wearing the vest until we hit the tips goal for the night, and then the vest goes on. You're absolutely right. Uh, let's see here. Um, Joe, the WX man, 17 STL did 100 bit cheer, and he says, uh, cheering for Phil. We're all cheering for Phil. Cheer, cheer, cheer. Oops, I got banned. Am I right, Philly Buckeye? Well, did Philly Buckeye get banned? No, he didn't. No, he didn't. What are you talking about? He didn't get banned. What should be talking about? <clears throat> okay. All right. Um, yeah, I want to go see what I can craft. Can I craft any tables, or can I craft any um like chairs? Actually, what am I doing? I just check. I'm so stupid. I can just do this, right? By the way, I have Nook Miles already. What's this? Oh, greedy weeder. I guess Cat was weeding with my character. There you go. Wow, I guess some extra Nook Miles just for that. That's excellent. Let's see what recipes I have. Oh, what is that? A hedge, an actual like grouping of uh, bushes. That's kind of nice. All right, so let's take a look. I would say the wooden table or the log dining table. See, this is more outdoorsy, the logs. Oh, that's kind of fancy. Natural square table. I actually like that. Natural square table. I need four hardwood and iron nuggets. I already have the nuggets. What's that there? A swinging basket. That's outside stuff. I'll probably do a natural square table, so I need some hardwood. And maybe some wooden chair. Regular wood and hardwood. Yeah. Regular wood and hardwood is what I need to grab if I want to make some stuff for the kitchen. Let's just make sure there's nothing else I want. <clears throat> Hmm. No. Okay, let me grab the stuff out of my storage here. Okay. So here's some hardwood. And it looks like we are out of regular wood. And that's what I need the most of. I'm gonna have to run around and chop down some regular wood tonight. Alright? Now, what I should do is anything I'm not going to use. Like this beach towel, I'm definitely not using that tonight. I might use the microwave. I might use the coffee grinder. I'll probably just sell the clumps of weeds in the yellow tulip plant. I don't know why I have hardwood trees in my inventory again. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with those. An upright locker I'm not going to use. Get rid of that. Uh, an outdoor generator, definitely not. Oops. I, I didn't want that. Yeah, I don't want that. <clears throat> I don't, I'm not going to use a surveillance camera. The diner mini table I might use in the kitchen. Um, I'll probably put this down jacket away for now. Oh, I'll put away the strawberry hat. I liked wearing it for a while, but I'm going to wear the cowboy hat tonight. Uh, what's this? Frog hat, same thing. That was funny for a little bit, but we'll get rid of that. The rounded beard. I don't really like it in the game. I don't think that really facial hair looks too good in this game. And it's also not... You know, a goatee like I have. Instead, it's more like a full beard, which I don't have. So, I don't really like that. Put away some of the clay. I think we're good now. I'm going to sell a couple of those things there. I don't know why I have so many goddamn trees. But, uh, alright. So, I need to get some wood. Huh? I don't want to do that. I need to get some wood. Shout out to I Killed Phil, who did 100 bit cheers. Anytime I'm looking for a good night's sleep, I always put on DSP Chill Strain. Hey, a lot of people tell me... That they just listen to the audio in the background and it completely relaxes them. And that's cool. If that's what you like to do, that's completely fine. Uh, I, in fact, I don't really see a negative about that at all. I don't care if, uh, you know, you find my stuff relaxing when I'm doing a chill stream. It makes sense, right? Now, if you told me that me playing like Street Fighter swearing at the top of my lungs or like Neo where I say the game's cheap every 10 seconds. If you told me that was relaxing, I'd be like, what the hell are you talking about? Shout out to Kurosawa Kid who tipped me a dollar and he says, hold on. I love the flooring of the room. I can't believe the clock placement is out of view. Excited to see what you do with space. If you get a chance and haven't already, go check out the new Assassin's Creed trailer. I have not seen the trailer. I know what the game is. It's Valhalla, but I have not seen the trailer, so I can't comment on it. So, I'm curious to see what the hell's going on on the island. Apparently, we have some new villagers here. I don't know where. Here's Melbo, who's wearing a nice bow in her hair today. Hello, Toasty. I try to be a good listener. You can talk to me anytime, Toasty. Is that really it? That's really it. So, I gotta look around for new houses, right? Actually, you know what I could... Oh, well, here's one right here. Apple's new home. I wonder who Apple is.
Well, first of all, here's somebody new. Olivia. Olivia is over there. Oh, you know what? Take a look. Olivia is living where Ike used to be. I'm guessing Ike is the person who, who left our island. Yeah, my wife had told me that someone wanted to leave, leave the island, but we got someone to replace it right away. I guess it was Ike. I don't know why Ike wanted to leave. Um, and I asked my wife, and she was like, yeah, he wasn't like clear on it. He just basically said that he felt like he wanted to go somewhere else. And you could either say, no, please stay, or, all right, if that's really how you feel, I want you to be happy. So I guess she said that, and he's like, okay, and he left. I guess there's no kind of, like, there's no voting. It's not like, oh, there's problems with other villagers. It just was like, nah, he just didn't like it or whatever. Um, so I guess we're going to go meet Olivia tonight. We're going to see who this Olivia is. And then we got someone new named Apple who's moving. But I don't know. Since their house is being built, more than likely, I guess they're not here yet. I read this like this is the best way to work your core muscles. Uh, said the robot who has no core muscles. <laughs> All right, so, oh, by the way, I have to chop down trees, remember? I have to get wood. I'm probably not going to get it from a palm tree, am I? Well, I did, but this is hardwood, and I need regular wood. I'll probably sell these coconuts later. How much money do I have? 12000 Nice. Too soft. Darn Ah, Bulletproof says, don't forget to see if Red the Art Dealer is here. I guess it's fair enough. I'll have to check. I don't know what kind of wood I'm grabbing because I can't see it. I have no idea what wood I'm grabbing. Whoops. Oh, that's a new spider! Oh, shit. God damn it. I missed him again? I can't get it! Are you serious? Okay, what is it? Yes! A spider ate a spider first. It's, wait, it's just called a spider? Like, literally, it's just a spider? It's not a kind of spider? What? Really? Spider. Haha, <laughs> it's just spider. And I didn't have to go to the museum, I guess. A spider. It's a cool looking spider. I like the stripes on it. I'm a little disappointed that they don't have a... It's not a breed. Like, they don't have a special breed. Spider. Generic spider. Uh, Colt's my... Oh, excuse me. Colt's MVP923 did a 300-bit cheer and said, Love your gameplay. I've been a fan for many years. Keep up the great gaming. Thank you, Colt's. Uh, that is the top cheer of the night. Let me get that up on the leaderboard before we proceed. <clears throat> Colt's MVP923. There we go. Thank you, Colts. Appreciate that. Yeah, I know. Don't let it lay eggs in my ear. You said it, Boylan. With my freaking current ear problems, I'm keeping that thing way the fuck away from my ear, dude. Oh, we got a lot of stuff going on. Take a look at this. Isn't that the fashion designer? We haven't seen the fashion designer in a long-ass time. Hello. Oh, we meet again. It's Label. You know, there's still so much to learn about design here on Paw Prank. In fact, I wonder if you can help me with a little style exercise. It goes like this. I'll call a specific fashion theme. You change it into an outfit that matches it. All right, if I have it. Last time it worked. Let's see here. Okay. So, let's see. I don't know if I'm going to have it, though. Thank you so much. Let's get to it. I like you to show me an outfit that says, I'm on vacation. Think about what you wear on a leisurely summer trip under one of those big resorts. Try imagining yourself relaxing in the countryside or soaking up the sun on the beach. I'll give you some vacation clothing so you have an idea what I'm looking for. Here you go, to top coat. Okay. Where's something that would go well with this top coat? Alright, let's see what this top coat is. I guess it's kind of outdoorsy, like an outdoorsy coat. So that kind of makes sense, I guess. Alright. What's Cherry up to? 
You again. Is this island not big enough for the both of us? Do we need a bigger island, ro ro I want to check. The MV lot's about to get a whole lot less empty. Someone named Apple's moving in. Oh, she's as cool as her name. Apple. Nice. Okay. Apple. She likes the name Apple. Probably because her name's Cherry, right? She likes different fruits. I guess that actually makes some sense. Alright. Well. Let's continue walking around and chopping down trees and doing all the fancy stuff. I'm gonna go meet this new islander named Olivia. Uh, it's not the wood I need. I'm only gonna sell these uh, cherries later. Cherries and, and uh, what do you call them? Uh, uh, coconut. Cherries and coconut. Look at all these flowers and bushes that Cat planted around. Pretty nice, man. All right, slowly making our way to the west. And then I hear a package. Aha. Who sends all these packages in the air? I must know. Huh. Okay, what is it? A pan of flute? Really? I can make a flute. Alright. Alright. Uh, I'm I'm good, hey there, babe. Thanks for asking. Dinner was good tonight. Chicken parm is the bomb. We had pasta, penne pasta, if you can believe it, with our homemade sauce. And it was quite good. We had a lot. It was very delicious. We both liked it a lot. And we were very happy to have my sauce back. We haven't had any homemade sauce in, like, over a month because we, we ate it all. And because of the pandemic, we weren't able to really make it. So we used, admittedly, we used a couple substitute ingredients. But it came out really well, and the sauce was great. What's wrong with her? I need your help. I keep trying. I can't catch a dab. The stress is getting to me. There's nothing worse for your musical creativity than fish stress. I'll help you. Alright, so I gotta try to catch a dab tonight. If I see fish, I should pull out my fishing rod. Uh, Colt's MVP cheered again and said, Curious if you ever thought of doing a way out. I think you would love it. It's a pretty comical and yet fun. Uh, the name sounds familiar. I think people have asked me about it earlier. But I don't know too much about it. A way, a way out. Wasn't that... Was that the co-op jailbreak game? From years and years ago? Like three years ago or something? Two years ago? Something like that? Sounds familiar. I think that's what it was. I was interested in it at one point, and for whatever reason, I never got around to it. That is what it, what it is. Crabcock did a 400 bit cheer. Said, Good evening. How's your ear holding up? It hurts. It's sore. But I've got zero stabbing pain. And the stabbing pain is really what makes it so that I can't really be myself or concentrate. So, in that regard, it's good. And I've already had three doses of medicine today already in the ear. Um, and the swelling is not that bad. So, I get the feeling that this cortisone or cortisol or whatever it is in the, in the medicine is working very well for keeping the swelling down. So that's good. What I'm trying to do is make my way over here to the new islander, Olivia. I think this is their house. So this used to be Ike's house, and now it's Olivia's house. Haha. -ha. Whoa. Alright, so Olivia's a cat with no nose. Haha, <laughs> no nose at all on the face. That's a little weird. Her head kind of looks like a snowball. It does. You ever had, so you ever had a snowball, like the, it's like a cupcake, a chocolate cupcake with cream in the middle and then marshmallow around the edges and then they sprinkle coconut on the outside, only usually they're pink, but she looks like a white snowball for a head. That is friggin' weird. Ha ha ha. Okay, so. Olivia says, my name is Olivia. I moved to this island just today. It's a funny story. I was talking to Cat while I was on vacation. And, well, uh, I hate to do my own horn, but they said this place would be somewhere with my sense of style. So here I am, purr. I mean, how could I resist an invitation like that? Anywho, you are Phil, yes? I'm a bit busy today, but we'll meet see each other again soon, I hope. Alright, so she's just moving, which means, sadly... Can't do any activities or anything with her because she's moving in and setting up her house. But next time that we play, 
I'll be able to see if we can do any interactions with Olivia. Next to Tabby said her head looks like a pork bun. I guess you could argue that too, or maybe one of those rice, uh, like not no, one of those bean buns that they have in Asia. You know, it's full of like red bean or whatever. That's what it looks like a bean bun, bean paste bun. <laughs> That's some weird stuff right there. Well, I'm supposed to catch a dab. I'm not seeing many fish. Here we go. I right, look right in front of his face. Oh, we off. No? There we go. Oh, right away. What is that? A horse mackerel. Son of a bitch. Uh, PP Pants Boy to me, $4.20 says, if you go to a gym and work out more, your ear would not bother you as much. Because we all know that when you work out your physical muscles in a gym, you make sure that no ear infections ever happen. It's absolutely great advice. Thank you very much, PP Pants Boy, for the tip. I appreciate that. A horse macadet. But that is not a dad. Come on. Turn this way. Son of a bitch. There we go. That is not a dab either. Okay. Oh, it is a dab. That is a dab? I was completely wrong. I didn't think that was a dab. It is. So I can go give that to, to uh, Candy now. That's good. Kate, cheers to thoughts on Assassin's Creed Valhalla. You take some ibuprofen as well as a warm cloth to your ear. Yes, I was using uh, Advil yesterday, and it was working to get rid of the stabbing pain. But as I explained on today's earlier stream, I purposely don't take medicine unless I absolutely need it. And here's why. In a situation where I really needed to work, I want it to be effective. Yesterday, I almost never take Advil, ibuprofen, Tylenol, almost never. Even when I have a headache, I usually tough through it unless I absolutely need it. Yesterday, I'm getting knife-like pain in my ear. I take one. Within an hour, it's gone. If I had been had used to use that a lot and had it in my system, I would have taken it. Probably would have done nothing. So that's why I don't do it. like today. Is it sore? Yes. Does it hurt? Yes. Is it sharp shooting pain to the point where I can't concentrate? No. So I'll wait until I absolutely need it and then I'll take it again. See, that's my my perspective on how it works. So thank you for that cheer. Um, Spurger King Whopper. <laughs> Okay, did 100 bit cheers. Good to see you feeling better doing positive content. You unbanned Snow Carl. No, I'm not. This morning, he directly referenced detractor shit. He knows it's against the rules. He's been banned recently for that stuff, unbanned, and now he's banned permanently and it's over with. Kim Clam took a dollar and said, I hope you learned a lesson about skipping ear day. Oh, you're right. From now on, I cannot ignore my ear exercises. Every day, I'm going to be, you know, what I do is I hang 20 pound weights from each lobe. And I just spin my head like this, and it builds up those muscles. My ear ups. It's very good. I'm gonna have the giant stretched out, disgusting, floppy lobes. Ugh. I find that gross. Like, I know people like do ear spacers and shit. I think that's disgusting. That big, like, like stretched out, floppy ear lobes. Ugh. Creeps me out. Alright, where, uh, where's Candy going? I gotta find her and give her this dab that I got. Oh shit, there was a bug. I wasn't paying attention. I, w I wish that the island had like a locator. I do. I wish I had a locator for each person. Like if I went over Candy is right now, right? I wish I could know, but it's just, just her house. She could be wandering around, right? No Polish frog. I've never had my ears pierced. Never had a desire to have my ears pierced. Uh, same thing with jewelry. The only... Uh, oh my god, excuse me. Oh, there she is. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I have an idea. Let's see how many more times we can talk to each other today. Huh. Okay, here we go. I caught you something. Really? There it is. Nice. Okay, it's a dab. You got it for me. Oh my gosh. Who's great? You're great. Here, I got you a reward. What's this? Here you go. It's a student cap. Pretty fab. I wonder what it looks like. Well, first of all, I apparently... Completed something for for Nook Miles? What is it? <clears throat> Smile Isle? 
Good deeds are their own rewards, but go ahead and say, get some nuke miles too for doing a request. Oh, that was the first time ever. Holy shit. Interesting. Um, So what is this student cap? By the way, an anonymous dollar tipper asked me am I ever going to play Sonic Unleashed? Um, They heard it's been ported to Xbox One. No one ever really asked me to play it. Um, Of all the Sonic games that were like throwbacks, people asked me to play games like Sonic Adventure 1 and 2, Sonic 06. No one really ever asked me to play uh, Sonic Unleashed. And I remember actually when it came out, I was considering playing it, and I never... Oh my god, look at that. I never did. What the hell does that mean? Student student of what? A military student, maybe? I don't know. That's kind of a weird student cap. I'll wear it for tonight, though. Um, but yeah, basically, I haven't uh, I haven't really had many requests for it, which is why I didn't play it. Is that the question? No. People, I, I may eventually play it. Uh, Motel Native, resubscribe for two months. Says, Thanks for streaming. I saw your ears bothering you. Have you experienced any serious toothaches? They're just as brutal. Let me put it this way. Not toothaches, but at this one point, I had a real bad issue. This was uh, this was actually a year or two ago. In the very back of my mouth here, all right, I bit down and I chomped a big chunk of the side of my mouth out in the back of my mouth, and it bled. And then after that, it swelled up, and it was full of pain. It was, and even after using like antibiotic mouthwash and stuff, not antibiotic, like uh, antiseptic mouthwash and stuff, it was still really bad for a long time. I'm not even kidding, months where I had like, oh my God, what's going on here? We'll talk to him in a second. I had radiating pain from this side of my mouth all the way through my teeth and my jaw, all through up into my ear. Like it got that bad. When I brushed my teeth back there, it was like excruciating radiating pain. And that lasted like three or four months. And then finally the goddamn thing cleared up and healed. Um, that's probably the worst I ever had. I've never had any serious toothaches. But I do have sensitive teeth to the point where like, sometimes if I brush my teeth, it'll hit the wrong, it'll hit the nerve. I'm like, oh, but the thing is, that's a different kind of pain. That's a sharp nerve pain versus like this like stabbing pain that I've had in my ear. So I know what you're saying, but no, toothache never really had a bad one. Um... An anonymous dollar tipper says, considering this game will get free updates and new content for years, I hope streams keep coming for a long time. It'd be great to see how your island looks maybe a year from now. Yeah, and you know, it's kind of the same deal with Minecraft where over time, things change and develop. They're going to have many different holidays, many different events. I think May Day starts tomorrow. I think it's a new event that's starting up, May Day, because I think the Nature Day stuff ending. Um, and so, yeah, I would say this will probably, even if, let's say we don't do it two times a week anymore, I still would like to maybe play this like once a week. And just see how it goes and relax and, you know, add new stuff to the island and just have fun with it. So, so I don't know what, what's going on here. It's Lloyd. Good evening. Right now I'm taking donations for a brick staircase. Oh. Damn. I'm not going to do that now. So he's going to, uh, he's going to build a brick staircase, right? So it probably takes so much, like a ton. So it's something you slowly contribute to to get it to happen. I think this is actually we were doing this for the bridge as well. We were trying to raise funds to make that original bridge. So this would be something that Cat set up. That's cool. All right. Uh, Spurger King Whopper. Cheers to Snow Crawl made mistakes, but everyone is stressed out from COVID-19. Maybe quarantine made it act out. It's like they say, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Fool me eight, nine, ten times. It's, it's kind of ridiculous. And Snowcrawl was just that kind of person where he just got chance after chance after chance. He just recently had been banned for doing the similar thing. And he was warned and he was told, oh no, I'll never do that again. I swear, you know, I learned my lesson. I'm really sorry I got worked up. And here it is, what, a week later? And the dude does it again? So that's that. That's the end of that, you know? I can only give you so many chances. And by the way, I hate to say it, but stream chatters are tired of it too. You guys don't know this. Oh, a steamer basket? I don't know what that is. I'll have to sell it. But I get complaints behind the scenes where people will send me emails and be like, why do you allow people to derail your streams all the time? Just because other people say they like them doesn't mean they should be let back in. And I agree there. And Snowcrawl was someone who I had gotten multiple complaints about. So, you know, it was a matter of time. We were seeing if he was going to behave or not. And he just couldn't even behave for, for a short period of time. So he's not coming back. It's over. What did he do? He directly referenced detractor content. Directly referenced detractor content. Someone who's been making fun of me on the internet for months with, you know, 
videos that are not only insulting but prying to my personal life with very insulting thumbnails on the videos to get clickbait. And someone who then, after months and months of doing this, now contacts me on Twitter and says, we want to come on my show. Fuck no, you idiot. You've been fucking defaming me for months. Why the fuck would I go on your show now, you stupid idiot? It's like, people are so dumb that they don't realize that once you've insulted someone for endless time, now, now you grease me on my show? No, I'll piss in your mouth. How about that? Fuck you. I'm not going to deal with that stupid shit. So, you know, it's common sense, but these people don't have it. And then he directly referenced it. And, uh... That's the end of Snow Carl. So, tough titties. Alright, um... I killed Phil Cheer... Excuse me. I killed Phil... Gifted a sub to Derek. Congratulations, Derek, on the gifted sub. And thank you, I killed Phil, for the support. Epic Hyperspace Cheer said, Did you have an external ear infection or middle ear infection? I'm glad you're feeling better. It's pretty much external. And the reason I know that is because it was the actual ear canal in the outer... And not inner, but like outer area that was swollen bad and hurt. And... When I described it to the doctor, they were like, yeah, it sounds like outer. It could be inner, but it sounds more like outer because you had that, that active swelling you could feel and see. So I'm going to give you something to put right into the ear canal. Hopefully that'll clear it up. It hasn't even been two days that I'm feeling way better. So it's obvious that that's what I had uh, or what I have. And it's going to take a while to go away. I got to use the entire bottle of medication. They said it should take about seven days. I'm going to keep doing it. But, um, you know, here's someone for the best and everything will go well. So. Okay. Remember, I'm trying to gather wood to make some tables and stuff to design my kitchen. Here's that song again. I wonder what the name of that song is. So, by the way, I should mention this, guys. The next time I play Animal Crossing will be Saturday. Now, this is going to be interesting because that's the day that K.K. Slider shows up to the island. And we'll be able to listen to concerts of his. And I'll be able to get a song from him. But I think what you need to do is you need to actually know the names of the songs. So maybe what I'll do is look up a list or I'll ask you guys to help me with names of songs to give him so he can play some music for us and maybe get one for our library so we can play it in my house. Okay? So what I'd like to do here... There we go. That's not what I wanted to do. I pressed the wrong button. Ah. Oh. Well, so much for that idea. Who's KK Slider? He's the musician who shows up to your island after you reach a three-star level of quality of your island. And he's actually the one who makes all the music. This song playing is a KK Slider song. He's supposed to be the big musician in Animal Crossing that everyone wants to hear play songs. What is that back there? Oh, must be a peach on the ground. Yeah, I got it. I guess Cat must have been harvesting peaches to sell. I wonder, whoa. I wonder what must have fell on the ground. Damn, it was flying. Okay. All right. Alright, have I heard of Two Live Crew? Yes, I have heard of a group called Two Live Crew. Absolutely. Alright, who's in here, by the way? Oh, shit, I'm... Ha! Here's Johnny! I'm chomping down the door with the ass. Oops. I just wanted to visit, I swear. Well, we got Prince hard at work here. What the hell is he making? Check me out, I'm doing stuff. What are you doing? I'm making me a golden arowana model. What the hell is a golden arowana? One of the bugs in the floor whispered the DIY instructions. A golden arowana. Alright, yes, teach me. Whatever the hell that is. Never heard of it. <laughs> All right, where well, are we gonna find out? He said Ro oh my god, he said Roro. -ro. Everyone on this island says Roro -ro now. Everybody. What the hell is a golden arowana model?
Oh my god, it's like a fish. Look at that. Your three gold nuggets is a golden fish. <laughs> it's funny. Young spring bamboo, I can make the pan flute. Uh, I like that fish. I definitely like the fish. Alright, good evening, Derek. Oh, uh, Derek, we met one of the New Islanders, Olivia the Cat. The other New Islander, Apple, which I don't know what Apple is going to be, is not here because their home is currently being built. So sadly, we cannot visit Apple. I don't know what kind of an Islander it will be. Uh, but it is what it is. What I'm trying to do is gather some wood to make some uh, tables and chairs and things for my house because I now have my kitchen. And I can work on, on the furnishing the kitchen, but I need components. That's what we're doing right now. Almost out of inventory space. I'll probably go sell some stuff quick. Mega Man NT says Apple is a hamster. Oh, really? That's cute. No, wait a minute. A hamster. Doesn't Cat have a pet hamster? So you're telling me that the Islanders are allowed to have pets, but then they can also have anthropomorphic or anthropomorphic full versions of those animals. Can I can I have a pet human? Could I actually have like a miniature pet human in my house? I don't know, man. I'm just curious if Cat has renovated her house at all. Let's take a look. Alright, th thank you, Erozozinerzer. I can't say your name, but thank you and have a good evening. So they're out they're out of here. This is a nice room. The bamboo theme and it's shelving now. Pretty nice room. Pretty nice. Like there's a tea set on the table. Picnic set and dumplings. A kettle. Yeah, I do like her kitchen. I do like that kitchen. Uh. Derek, the first villager's name is Olivia the Cat. Olivia. Alright. So now Charlie is banned because earlier today he pretended like he was a newcomer who had watched detractor content but liked my content. So he came to the channel, he subbed, and he cheered. Now he makes a joke, a reference to a joke, a racist joke, that I made 10 years ago and got me into trouble on Blip TV. He thinks it's funny to repeat that in my chat. Well, guess what? It's so funny, you're banned. So, goodbye and good riddance. Idiot. I'm supposed to be wearing a vacation outfit for a label. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. Uh, Tangles the Power, my ear still hurts. It's sore, but it's not nearly as bad as it was. So that's a good thing. Thank you for asking. So let's trade in these fossils and let's donate this spider. Get those out of my inventory. Ugh. Hey, Dave. Welcome to Paw Print Museum. How might I be of service? Like a donation. The spider. A spider, what a wretched thing. I'm obliged to ask, would you like me to learn more about it? Yes. In that case, ahem. The spider is renowned for having eight legs and eight eyes. I said that backwards. Eight eyes and eight legs. Which is six too many, I say. Oh dear, I do apologize. Now where was I? Most spiders are carnivorous and some will eat creatures several times larger than themselves. To catch their prey, many of these ruthless predators spin sticky webs of surprising strength. Worse yet, they've also been known to ambush their victims and some even chase down their meals. All this talk about the feeding habits of spiders, I'm feeling quite queasy. Hoot the horror. Alright, so we donated the spider. Spurger King Whopper Cheery says, I was asking a question because the community liked a certain person and thought maybe he could be alright enough of this nonsense. Stupid shit. <clears throat> oh wait, I need to assess fossils. Anything new? I'll have to find out. Shout out to Shrine Anon who just subscribed to the channel. Thank you, Shrine Anon, for the sell. More than one, I see. Let's take a closer look. Oh, yeah, I found some of this not yet part of our Steam collection. Very nice. Alright. I'll definitely give them the one that's the one they don't have yet. The Ankylo Torso. 
and Kilo Torso. Oh ho ho, could it be? It is! An Ankylo Torso! Does this mean? Yes, it is done! The Ankylo Ankylosaurus is complete and a splendid specimen indeed. The Ankylosaurus was a remarkable creature. Pray tell me, I enlighten you with a few facts. Sure. Let's hear them. It's just fascinating stuff, I assure you. Where to begin? Ankylosaurus was the herbivore hero who had raised a gladiator, the vegetarian barbarian of antiquity. Between its club-like tail, heavy armor, and honest-to-goodness spikes, it was a formidable beast. Did you see it? I've even heard recent theories that it actively attacked predators. Human menaces behavior at an herbivore simply beggars the imagination. Here you have it. Fascinating stuff. All right, so that's going to go up in there. <clears throat> All right, nothing else for now. I guess I should go to the store and sell some stuff, and then I can see how much wood I got and how much I can craft with it, right? I don't know. People are spamming the chat about some guy named Snake Eyes. Did I ever play him? I have no recollection at all. I don't remember anyone named Snake Eyes, but it doesn't mean that I've never played them. Did I ever play Street Fighter against Snake Eyes? No clue. Ugh. <sighs> In sorry, Root here to say, barring Godzilla, who's your favorite Toho monster? Um, is it Angiris? Whoever the turtle was, I like the turtle. They got a freaking grand piano. Let's sell. So what do I want to sell? I already have that. Sell that. Sell the peach. Sell the oranges. Sell the horse mackerel. Sell the tulip. Sell the tree. I'm just gonna sell all these trees. Sell the coconuts. Sell the cherries. And sell the grass. I think that's good. I don't know if it's worth anything. We're about to find out. Yeah, it's over 7,000. That's fine. I'll clear my inventory out a while. Good. What is, is that like a litter box? Yeah, it's a kitty litter box, but can you actually get a cat as a pet in this game? Again, that's weird because Olivia is a cat, but it's an anthropomorphic cat that's a Islander, yet you can have a pet cat? I don't know, that's weird. That's weird. A green piano. Huh. All right. All right, let's see what I grab. Wow, people are being mean to give it to Olivia as a gift. That's screwed up. Why would I do that? All right. Let's craft a natural square table. I feel like this stuff looks in the kitchen. Let's craft a wooden table. Okay. I can only craft one chair. Well, I want more. I'm going to have to get more wood. I want more than one stick of chair. Timo says, is having the headphones not giving you more ear pain? Not really, which I'm surprised. I thought it would be super duper tender, but the medicine's been working really well. It's actually not hurting my ear any extra from what I can tell having the headphone on. So, um, only big trust around here, cheer. And let's see here. <laughs> okay, he wants me to put into context the clip of me put, telling the tractors to jump off a cliff. Sure, here's the context. The context is... You're banned from my chat, and I don't have to deal with your stupid shit anymore. There's the con perfect context right there. It's really good context. <laughs> Asking you shall receive, stupid. Okay. Perfect context. Okay. Alright, let's grab some wood. 
Like I said, I want to make at least one more chair if I can. If anyone else would like some context tonight, be sure to let me know. I I'm a master of context, if you haven't noticed. <laughs> All right. Let's grab some more wood. I missed completely. I was too excited. Look. Way too excited. For Fisto Cheerson, I wanted to ask you if you could time me out for 10 minutes. I could. I absolutely could. I'm not going to, but I could if I, you know. Possible. Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. Accidentally picked some flowers. How did they regrow and cat is a pissed about that? That was an honest mistake. I need more regular wood. I'm afraid if I keep chopping the same trees, they're gonna fall. So maybe I should go up here. Oh, look, the package is sitting here. God damn it. Oh, no! What's this? I got an achievement for that. Yeah, look. Lost treasure. You popped a balloon with a still full shot, but the attached price fell in the water. So you get 500 nook miles for a very catchable klutz. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Alright, that was funny. At least you get something for it, right? That was pretty nice. Okay. It looks like Kat has been trying to redesign the island nicely. See what she did? She has all these trees in a perfect line. Yeah, she basically has been landscaping from what I can see. Oh, yeah? L Lummox says the best thing is to sell cactus. I'm pretty sure we don't have any cactus on the island, no. Kurosawa Kid to the dollar thirty says, I'm glad you're not taking any, uh, any nonsense from these attention-seeking people tonight, and he hopes that I hope I'm feeling better. Thank you very much. So, guys, we're up to $22 in tips, and uh, we're just about to enter our second hour of Animal Crossing for the night. FYI, we're still quite a ways off from hitting the tips goal tonight, just saying. If we don't hit the tip skull, that's perfectly fine, but we do have a 55 vest streak. Now I gotta get another axe. Um, I gotta go craft another axe. You know, we do have a 55 vest streak, and uh, if you guys want to see it continue, feel free to contribute via tipping. Just throwing that out there. I'm not saying you have to, I'm not pressuring you, I'm just saying. If you want to keep the streak going, by all means contribute via tipping tonight to make it happen, alright? But if not, if not, I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna be sad. I'm not going to be ungrateful. You guys have been amazingly supportive. And uh, even though, obviously, some people might be disappointed that it ended, I'm not going to be, you know, upset that we didn't continue this crazy-ass goal that's been going on for so long. So, I need a pull to get out of here. Oh, uh, let's see. Shout out to Spurger King Whopper who says, Have you ever done acid? No, never. The only drug I've ever done was weed. And uh, I believe maybe once I had one that was laced with something and I had no idea what it was. It was against my will. I had no clue. But I've never actively done any drug but weed. Uh, guitar player 1939 took me $5 and says, I just finished watching the new Assassin's Creed trailer. Have you had a chance to watch it yet? I have not. I have not seen the trailer, so I can't really comment on it. Coolito took me a dollar said, Are you planning to upgrade or get a new PC? I think those are essentials for business. Eventually, I'm going to have to. You know, eventually, this PC is not going to last. This PC I've been using every day since 2014 when I bought it. It's no exaggeration. That's almost six straight years being used every every single effing day so it probably has more wear and tear on it than most other pcs chances are eventually i'm going to have to get a new pc i'm lucky i haven't had to yet but you know it is what it is um i need a flimsy axe for that i need a stone i'm sure i have stones inside my house uh, Elon Just took me $1.30 30 says, I missed the early stream. Didn't you have close to 800 subs? Yes, but what happened, Elon Just? We started off today at only at like, I want to say it was like 760 or 750 subs. But that giant sub bomb that we received at the end of March 
that made the tier 2 sub goal get hit finally expired. So we're talking 70, 80 subs I got in one day that it all expired at once. And that's why the subs plummeted. That's why I did not want to do a sub goal this month. Because I was afraid that I would set it up. And then, you know, we get close and then that sub bomb would expire. Everyone would be really upset. Uh, by the way, I don't have any stones. So I have to go hit rocks to get stones, right? <clears throat> With my shovel. But the, uh... But there will be a sub goal for the month of May. We'll begin tomorrow. Okay, guys? So if you're interested in, in a sub goal, there will be a sub goal starting tomorrow. All right. 